Good morning. It is April 11th, 2022, and I just got back from Gem State Comic Con. Let's talk about it. So I live up in the Spokane area of Washington. Uh, it's about five hours from Seattle, over a couple of mountain passes, and Boise, Idaho is another major uh, city in the inland northwest and it's about seven hours of driving time south so when you've got that much distance between big cities around here you have to take advantage of going to a con when you can so i packed up about 40 short boxes with my dad and two of my best friends and we hit the road uh, one of them drove down with us the other one flew in from the Portland, Oregon area, a uh, town called Vancouver, Washington. And Nick and Chris, thank you guys so much. Uh, some people on here who have watched me on the Sands Group YouTube auctions, uh, you know Chris from those. And then Nick, uh, he, he's done an unboxing with me on here in the past. These guys are invaluable. Uh, Without them, the con would have been a very difficult thing for Dad and I to manage on our own. With them, man, we kicked some ass. Uh, there were about four or 5,000 people for this single day event in Boise, Idaho, and we probably saw 3,500 of them. Uh, amazing to, to see people, and thank you guys to the ones who came up to me uh, from here on YouTube. And, and said they recognized me. That's awesome. So, so happy to be the booth that made people's day. Uh, I gave things away at the booth. I filled $5 boxes uh, with comics worth 10 to $20 each. I absolutely had a blast watching people walk away with smiles on their faces. That's what makes it worth it for me. I've got a big slideshow of things. Uh, that I'm gonna probably talk over, and and I just wanted to, to give an intro and uh, let everybody know we made it home. Uh, seven hours of driving back after a 14 hour day of work. Uh, that was a that was a hell of a time, but the the Comic Con people set it up for a great room rate uh, down in Boise. So for a hundred dollars a night, we stayed and. Slept the night before, got up at 5 a.m., uh, set up started at 6 a.m., the doors opened at 10 a.m., show until 5, and then we broke down from 5 to 7 and uh, went out to eat. Got to have a good meal afterward. Big shout out to Edge Brewery in uh, Boise, Idaho. We had a wonderful meal there, and uh, you'll see the the fun comic themed van that they use at the end of the slideshow and uh, now we're getting ready our next show lilac city comic con which is a two-day event in spokane washington on june 4th and 5th if you guys have the ability to get out here it's going to be a great time and uh we've got some stuff set aside for that one that the people in boise didn't see so have a great day. Enjoy this slideshow. You'll hear my voice over it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in Spokane on June 4th and 5th. We started out this trip at 6 a.m. Chris came over and handed off an amazing book that he laced up for me. I handed this off to him about a year ago. Art takes time. Man, he killed it. We got down to Boise. I met up with a friend of mine. I hadn't seen in 20 years and then we got up the next morning and got going bright and early at 5 a.m. We are all set up at Gem State Comic Con. I am repping the hometown Lilac City, Spokane, Washington in six weeks. This setup will be there. We got big boy books on the wall. We got slabs on the wall. The first books you saw, those are best of work. Oh my goodness. Then we got action figures, an amazing poster, Funko Pops, 
Holy shit, I got a little bit of energy. I'm excited. We're gonna actually have a whole couple of tables of five dollar boxes. Everything in these boxes is five dollars. And we got a little bit of vintage going on too. It's Chris. <laughs> there was Chris. I'm Travis. This is Nick. Hey -o. hey o. And Dad is out in the van taking a nap after an early morning setup at Gem State Comic Con. Let's have a good day. Doors opened, and the first person at my booth is a buddy of mine from Spokane, the man behind the comics. The second person at my booth, somebody I hadn't seen in over 15 years, my good friend Glenn. Glenn and his son Drake, who is named after me a little bit, uh, came over and they hanged out from 10 to 5. They can attest it was busy the entire day. I had dozens of people stop by. And let me tell you, it was a blast. Gem State Comic Con was a two-room show, and it was filled with people. I didn't really get a chance to look around. I spent the whole day busting my butt right at the booth. Thankfully, Dad went around, took some photos for me, so we could share them here. One thing to really remember at conventions is that cosplay does not equal consent. Uh, there were thousands of people dressed up in different costumes and I did ask a few of them uh, specifically for photos uh, of just them I, I didn't need to be involved in them uh, but one of the really fun ones was a, a woman dressed as Sophie from the Loki series and it was fun to get her uh, digging through my book so uh, we only slightly set that photo up she was digging for a while before I asked. Uh, and then here are some of the other great cosplay things that we saw. Gem State Comic Con actually has their own resident cosplayer, Gem Star, who I did not get a photo of, uh, is a person dresses up exactly as the icon for Gem State Comic Con. She is one of hundreds, if not more than a thousand people that got their own costume ready, walked around, and had a blast hanging out with people of similar interests. Don't get it twisted, this day was about hard work. From 10 a.m. when the doors opened until 3.40 p.m., it was non-stop. The doors finally closed at five o'clock. We spent about an hour and a half tearing down and then we decided to treat ourselves to a great dinner at Edge Brewery. Thanks for the tip, Tim. It was wonderful. And then we went back to the hotel. I was in bed 11 and a half hours before we got up, had a great breakfast with the guys from Distance Nerding, grabbed some coffee, and headed home ready for Lilac City.